Hello, everyone. First, I would like to thank the chair of the conference for giving us the opportunity to present our paper. I am Rina Shami, presenting our work on behalf of the co-authors of our paper, Electronic Structure Studies with Spin-Orbit Coupling Effect of the Molecule TLI, held in Beirut Arab University, Lebanon. While our presentation is divided into three main parts, introduction, theoretical background, and the discussion of our obtained results. In the introduction, we will cover the importance of molecular studies with their application, specify our studied molecule and its corresponding literature review. Schrodinger equation with Born-Oppenheimer approximation in addition to the methods of calculation are presented in the theoretical background. And finally, we'll present our data and graphs for our studied molecule. What's the importance of having molecular study? First of all, molecular physics is the study of physical properties of molecules and the chemical bonds between the atoms, as well as the molecular dynamics. Molecular dynamics is a computer simulation method for studying the physical movements of atoms and molecules. The atoms and the molecules are allowed to interact for a fixed period of time, giving a view of the dynamic evolution of the system. The results of the studied molecules nominate them to be candidates of many applications such as cold chemistry, astrophysics, precision measurements, and quantum systems. As we see here, the applications of cold and ultra-cold molecules to various scientific goals are shown with the required values of number density and temperature, where the temperature is being varied or ranged from 1 Kelvin to nano Kelvin. Preparing such molecules has been a challenging process in the recent years. This can be achieved via different techniques, some of them are indirect methods, such as photoassociation or the free bound absorption. Photoassociation is the process where two colliding atoms collectively absorb a photon, forming a bound excited state molecule, or via buffer gas cooling which uses a cold inert buffer gas like nitrogen, helium, or argon to cool the molecules directly through elastic collision. In addition to the direct laser cooling, which is using an optical cycling scheme, this leads to reach ultra-cold molecules of temperature less than 1 mK. Now the chosen molecule is TLI. You may ask us about the reason behind choosing our molecule. And that's because it's important in astrophysics and in spectroscopy. It's being used to measure fundamental constants with high precision. Such ultra-cold molecules can be used in quantum computations. Moreover, some previous studies included only few electronic states of TLI molecule. In our present work, we introduced the potential energy curves, spectroscopic parameters, as much as the dipole moment curves of this molecule. Let's now move to our second part of the presentation, which is the theoretical background. The motion in a diatomic molecule can be described simply by the Schrodinger equation, where H is the Hamiltonian operator, E is the energy, energy operator of the system, and phi is the spin orbital wave function that represents the different types of motions of motion in a molecule. But the study of motion in a molecule is separated by an approximation called the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, which separates the study of electronic motion from that of the nuclear motion according to the fact that the mass of the electron is much smaller than the mass of the nucleus. So the electrons move faster than nuclei and respond to forces very rapidly. So, neglecting the motion of the nuclei, the electronic Hamiltonian is the sum of the kinetic energy of the electrons in a molecule, the attractive potential energy between electrons and the nuclei, and the repulsive potential energy between the nuclei themselves. Concerning the nuclear motion, it divides into two types, the vibrational motion where the molecule vibrates along the axis joining the two atoms, and the rotational around one of the axes in the 3D space. To calculate the physical properties of the molecules, there are mainly three methods, such as the ligand field method, semi-empirical methods, and the ab initio method. In our study, ab initio method was used. Mainly, a lot of programs are available, such as the Molkas and Gaussian. We have used MolPro software due to its highly accurate computation extensive treatment of the electron correlation problem, and calculation of highly excited states. Our aim in this research is to find the solution of the Schrodinger equation, that is to study the different types of motion in our molecule. We can solve Schrodinger equation by some techniques or approximations such as the Hartree-Fock approximation, but 
due to the limitation of the hearty frog of this technique, a more accurate description, which is the configuration interaction method, was applied, which is post hartree approximation. This method is known as the multi-configuration self-consistent field that treats the single and double excitations in a molecule, such as a promotion of electrons to higher levels. Determinants from the multi-configuration self-consistent field are taken as a reference in the multi-reference configuration interaction. But we need a truncated configuration interaction description that accounts for all types of the excitations, not only in the singly and doubly ones. For more simplicity, these excitations are replaced by a Davidson correction term. Now it's the time to check and discuss our results. So, TLI molecule was considered as I is said to be at the origin and TL is along the positive direction. In the library of software and in the literature, there is a large number of bases for each one of the considered atoms. We started trials for the best one of the bases in order to reach the degeneracy. Each time we have to try in order to determine the number of electrons. For each basis, we have to precise the number of occupied and closed orbitals and estimate the number of states in each symmetry. The horizontal line you see here is the boundary between the frozen electrons represented by the cross inside the circle and the treated electrons up to the red diagonal line. So here, 60 core electrons, which are frozen electrons, are considered in TL atom and 46 in I atom. And as a total, 23 valence electrons were treated in this molecule with 10 occupied 10 occupied shells in symmetry 1, 4 in symmetry 2 and 3, and 1 occupied in symmetry 4. And for the closed, we had considered 5 uh, orbitals to be in the closed symmetry 1, 2 in symmetry 2 and 3, and 1 closed orbital in symmetry 4. After many trials of different bases, the chosen basis was effective core potential 60 MDF for TL molecule, and effective core potential 46 MDF for the I molecule. The, multi the multiplicity is given by 2S where it's equal to 1 for one single electron and it corresponds to singlet state if it's 0 and triplet state if equal to. Actually, the multiplicity is given by the rule 2S plus 1, but in our program, 1 is being neglected, so it's taken as 2S in the software of this program. Now, if the degeneracy is not reached after many trials, we have to solve or to find solution. One of these solutions is to resolve, is to uh, change the basis set. The other solution is to change the number of states, and the last one is to change the electronic configuration. After performing our computations using the MOL Pro, the potential energy curves and the dipole moment curves are obtained and plotted as a function of internuclear separation. We start with the first figure about the, about the potential energy curve of TLI molecule of the ground and excited states of singlet multiplicity of TLI, including sigma, pi, and delta states. As you can see here, the singlet states are the energy of the singlet state is being expressed in Hartree and the internuclear separation in Angstrom. We can clearly tell that most of the states are shallow, well-bound states. This reflects that the, the reflects the dominancy of the repulsive forces in our studied molecule. Same as we go to the potential energy curves of the TLI molecule, but here with the triplet multiplicity of TLI. Also, it includes sigma, pi, and delta states. Also, here we can tell that all the states are bound shallow states and this means that the repulsive forces are dominant in our molecule. This figure also represents the potential energy curve of the ground curves of the ground and excited states of the TLI molecule that correspond to angular momentum 0, 1 and 2 including here the spin orbit. In this slide and the coming slide of the singlet and triplet multiplicity, it's also clearly noticed that most of the potential energy curves are shallow with spin orbital consideration. Also here, the potential energy curves corresponding to the triplet multiplicity are clearly noticed that they are all shallow states. 
Now let's go to the second part of our calculation, which is about the calculating the permanent dipole moment and plotting the permanent dipole moment curves. First, dipole moment, permanent dipole moment is a vector directed from the negative dipole to the positive dipole and its magnitude <clears throat> is defined by the charge multiplied by the distance between the nuclei. So, this quantity possesses a wide impact in the determination of the bond nature and the ionic character of the molecule which is under study. Let's see. Let's go here for the uh, singlet state of TLI, for example. We, if we take I at the origin, a positive dipole moment is due to the migration of charges from I to TL, which means that the electron density is closer to I than to TL. On the other hand, if we have a negative dipole moment, this means a reverse polarity indicates a charge migration from TL to I, which gives out a negative sign of the dipole moment. If we look here, we can notice that all the investigated dipole moment curves tend to zero at large internuclear distance. This means what? This means that we have resulting and neutral fragments, except for what? For one state, which is the third sigma plus electronic state. We can clearly state that third sigma plus tend to have negative value in the negative region with R between, ranging between 5.2 angstrom to 7.2 where the molecule dissociates in the ionic fragment. This is another figure of the dipole moment curves for the triplet electronic state of TLI. Here we didn't consider the spin orbit coupling into consideration. We can also see how all the electronic states are going to zero. The dipole moment of the electronic state is going to zero. This means what? This means that at this internuclear distance, the fragments are being separated as nu neutral fragment and not ionic fragments. Here we have the dipole moment curves are also investigated for the singlet spin orbit coupling electronic state of the TLI molecule. We can see the first delta electronic state tends to have negative value in the negative region within, within R between 5.2 to 7.2 angstrom, where the molecule disso dissociates in the ionic fragment. Now we come to calculating our spectroscopic constants of the considered molecule. First of all, the spectroscopic constants such as Re, omega E, Te, and Be, which correspond to the internuclear distance, to the harmonic vibrational frequency, transition energy, and uh, rotational constant, they can be calculated either by using the X poly program or by using the X minimum program. Both programs are having the same accuracy and reliability. The difference is that X poly is being um, is being operated by Windows, while the X minimum is being operated by Ubuntu. For this, we had used the or calculated our spectroscopic constants using the X poly program, which is being coded by the Professor Abdurrahman Alouche. Uh, this calculation is done by fitting the potential energy curves around the minimum and solving the polynomial. We examine the RE of the excited state. We couldn't find a value near that of the ground state. Therefore, the first and the main criteria of the laser cooling is not verified in our molecule. So the molecule which we are studying, it's not a candidate for the direct laser cooling application. For the ground state of TLI, the comparison of the spectroscopic constants in the present work approach the values given in literature with percentage of 7.13 for omega E, is 9.7 in RE and 0.08% for BE. Same as we, if we compare the first sigma plus, we find that the relative difference in omega E is approaching 12.7%, 12% in RE and in BE is 0.29. And also the strong agreement is in the third delta, the first delta 
uh, state where the difference in omega e is approaching 5.12% and 1.12% uh, for re and 4.5% for be. As you see here in this table, 16 electronic states have been investigated in which 12 are studied for the first time. To prove the credibility of our investigated values of the TLI molecule, we show this table, the trend of the spectroscopic parameters between TLBR molecule and our obtained values for the TLI molecule. From bromine to iodine, in the periodic table, the rotational constant BE decreases as the reduced mass increases. This table also confirms the increase in bond length RE and the decrease of harmonic frequency omega E, with the decrease of the electronegativity for all the considered electronic states, which can confirm the reliability of our work. Finally, we come to our conclusion about our studied molecule. The adiabatic potential energy curves and the dipole moments have been investigated via complete active self-consistent field and multi-reference configuration interaction with Davidson correction technique for the low-lying electronic states of thallium iodine. Many new states were presented and a new spectroscopic constant were determined. The molecular properties such as spectroscopic constants and dipole moments of the studied molecules are calculated. At the end, our present study provides a good starting point for future experimental studies in spectroscopy. Finally, I would thank you for your listening.